of all the values Western society holds dear today, freedom must top the list. As we look around our nations and communities, what freedoms do we value? We value freedom of speech, freedom of travel, and freedom to act as individuals. We cherish freedom of choice in marriage, family, religion, and myriad other things. Many even seem to value freedom from marriage, freedom from children, or freedom from religion. And the list goes on seemingly endlessly. But is freedom by itself the answer to a better life? Or is it possible to have too much freedom? With all the freedoms afforded to our modern society, are we happier than we were in the past when there were arguably fewer freedoms? Are we truly more liberated today? In our societal rush to become free from the shackles of religion, is it possible that we have become entrapped through making freedom and liberty our new gods? Author and commentator D.C. McAllister pondered over the idea that the idol of freedom is the cause of our loneliness. She drew the following profound conclusion about our freedom to choose for ourselves. When morality is rejected and the subjective becomes the standard for truth, the subject, that's us, is instantly and permanently isolated. He is living on an island of one. Freedom from a relationship with God has plunged us into existential angst and loss of significance. Freedom from virtue, judgment, law, and regulating moral principles has cast us into a sea of abandonment. The pursuit of all-encompassing or unbridled freedom has led to less happiness, more hatred, and higher rates of drug use and suicide than perhaps ever before. In a sad twist of irony, much of society has thrown off Judeo-Christian values, which many see as limitations or restrictions opposed to freedom. However, ultimate freedom is achieved through adhering to the laws and values obtained from the Bible. Contrary to the beliefs of much of modern Christianity, God's law, including the Ten Commandments, is called the perfect law of liberty. If we genuinely consider this, we will begin to see that adherence to God's laws would actually begin to free society from crime, murder, hate, depression, exhaustion, loneliness, and so many other modern plagues. Society has allowed its relentless pursuit of freedom to become its most important priority today. But there is another, happier, more fulfilling way, and it is focused on what unites us rather than divides. To find out more about this way, watch our program titled, What is Freedom? If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And for more content like this, visit our website at tomorrowsworldviewpoint.org.